We're out here in North Carolina, pretty cloudy, 50 degree weather. It's pretty nice. We're out here uh, trapping for some creatures. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna try to catch some. You're gonna use these cage traps. We're gonna try to catch some nutria and some nuisance beater that have been destroying our farmland around here. So, wish us luck. We're using some corn and some carrots for bait. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So as you can see, when you say about like this destroying of like property and stuff, you turn around here, you can see how they flooded tons of stuff. All these dams and stuff are all made by them. All this flooding is just beavers and nutria and just. Nasty varmints. All right, so we're gonna now we're gonna start filling the uh, traps full of like corn and carrots. But here, Go. so beavers like and uh, this trap's mainly for uh, nutria because they're smaller normally than beavers. And then some of their favorite food is carrots and corn. So most of the corn right now is if you can see that big trap over there with a, uh, it's like brown, it's kind of in the water. We're gonna use that for beavers. A couple weeks ago, we didn't get any footage of it. We caught a giant beaver in that trap. But um, yep, this one's mostly for nutria. And if you look right here, there's some scat. It's just something, so that's why we're setting the trap here. And. Okay, so we got this nice little deep creek here, right here on the edge of the main channel. We're gonna set this big one out here for a beaver. And yeah, we get, oh, it was all straight this way and we have this whole area that's flooded out. So we're gonna try to set it right here on the edge with some corn and some carrots and see how it goes. But man, you can see someone's been trying to drag this thing in the water already. It's crazy. It's been sitting in the water for a while, so it should be good. Should be a good set and they're all nice and camouflaged. Nice and smell. We'll take this, we'll set it right here on the edge of this island. It's right here on the edge of the water. Just like that. We'll take our bait. Push into the trap and kind of spread it around the edges to kind of help attract and bring them in. And we'll be back in about a day, about 24 hours, to check again, see if we've gotten anything. All right, guys, we're out here, day two, somewhat sunny, about 55 degrees again. Um, we came out here to check the traps that we set yesterday and it comes to find out there's a little creature in it. Um, but here we go. So we got a muskrat. It's a pretty big one in this cage trap. He ate all of those carrots. And as you can see, these things are kind of mean. So we're going to work on releasing them. I'm going to hand this to my brother so I can let him go. We're not going to shoot them today, even though we brought their rifle, but we'll let them go because they're not really in season and they're not big huge problem so, hold on. Oh my God. all right we gotta make sure that every day or we make sure we come out here every single day to check the trap after we set it because we don't want to leave an animal by himself or locked in the cage but so we're gonna we're yeah. gonna let him go we're gonna put him back in the water and hopefully it just swims off and tries not to attack any of us Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna move the trap because I don't like catching any more muskrats. So I'm trying to catch the nutria. So I'm gonna move it a little bit and uh, rebait it again with the carrots and corn. I gotta work my way over there. And I put it in this new spot right here on the edge of the stream. And you can see there's some stuff that's been crawling up about right here right towards this cage, so I'm gonna try setting it right here. Just put these carrots in here. And then, 
we'll just set it oh, right here on the edge of the water. And as you can see, our other big cage trap, nothing's in it. They haven't touched the bait, so we'll put some more bait in it and leave it be for tonight. And we'll check it them again tomorrow. So I'm over here by the big trap, set here along this little stream. I put some corn in it yesterday and some carrots, but something came by and got the corn on the outside and some of the stuff. So we're gonna reset it and figure out what happened and try it again tomorrow. All right, guys, so we just checked both the traps overview. We caught a muskrat, which we let go because they're not really any problem. They just build these little huts, kind of like uh, that over there, and they'll live in it and they don't really cause much damage. So we let that guy go, but there's still tons of them down here. Um, and then the other one, the other trap we checked, we put carrots in there yesterday and all the carrots were gone. The corn was untouched. So what we think happened is it's such a big trap over there that um, the trigger is really hard to push down to release it. So what we think happened is a muskrat or something small went in there, took the carrot out and then they're so light they didn't set off the trap. So that's unfortunate, but we reset both traps and we're going to come out here tomorrow and see if uh, anything else has decided to make its way back in there. But that's the wrap up for the video today. And um, we might go do some fishing stuff later on today. So. All right, y'all, we were on the way back from um, setting those and checking those traps. And we were walking along the beaver dam over here, walking up this way. And we have noticed some stuff about like bobcats being around here. And if you look to this tree right here, you can see how there's claw marks going all up and down this. And what we think is that there's bobcats coming around here because of all the muskrats and stuff. And they're really like trying to find more food. So, but they'll scratch against these trees just like a normal house cat to sharpen their claws. But um, yeah, we were just walking back and we just came upon some scratchings. But all right, guys, we're down here at the pond. After we checked those traps, we decided to do some fishing. And that trap that I made about a week ago, it, we it had it down here in the pond for uh, bass bait. So I was gonna pull it up and see what we had in it. Let's see, anything? Oh, there's some fish in here. Not a lot, there's some. Perfect bait though. All right, we'll go ahead and throw it on the hook and see if we can't catch anything. We got fish number two on the small hook, it's just a little bluegill. So yeah, it's a nice catch. All right, so I'm down here fishing my brother Woo! and I'm just using a bobber and you can see this little, little bitty tiny hook and I caught this nice cute little roach fish so i'm using the hook that's like no bigger than my like thumbnail so yeah we got this guy we'll let him go and we'll keep fishing and it's another roach fish on a small hook they're pretty fish with a nice gold color so we'll let him go and we'll keep fishing we got our fourth fish it's another like, little sunfish bluegill whatever you want to call it so yeah he's a nice little ah! small guy it's just fun to catch these small fish so the big yeah. ones aren't really biting today so we caught this actually quite Dude. large sunfish it's about the size of my hand with this little itty bitty hook like the size of my pinky finger it's crazy That's look at this guy big, he's over here not catching anything like usual hey, 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 oh, hey. he's got one oh my he's like ah, super no. tiny compared to this guy so yeah we'll keep fishing i'll let him go so we continued fishing and i caught this little bitty tiny guy this little bass he's so little he's about as long as my pointer finger look at this little guy little tiny buddy He'll grow up to be nice and big in this pond, and we can catch him later. So we'll let him go. You got some corn? So, I was gonna wash my hands in that creek down there and I saw something moving. And we ended up catching this little crawfish. He's under that pipe down there. So, these things are like perfect bait for uh, catfish and bass. But, but yeah. we don't have any time, we're about to go up. They get pretty big, but I'm gonna throw them back, so. He can like keep living in the creek. It's a nice pretty creek here with a sandy bottom, so he'll live fine. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, so the trap that I set at the beginning of the uh, day of fishing, we were down here for about two hours. I'm gonna walk over here and um, I'm gonna check it. Set it over here in the water. I don't know if you can see the blue rope. But um, yeah, so if you guys like this video, then subscribe, like it, and we'll be posting more this is kind of our like first video so um yeah so just like it and subscribe but let's see let's see what kind of um fish we got in the trap let's do it Ooh, i'm seeing some stuff some action oh 
Let's see. Ah, oh, there's only one. One, oh, two, two fish, two fish. All right, thank you all. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Subscribe and like this video.